Hello, my name is Gemma and welcome to my new booktube channel. I have decided to start this channel because I don't really have many friends or family members that read what I like to read. Like my friends, I have a few friends that they like to read, but they like to read like fantasy and that and I'm sort of a more romance sort of reader. I have some historical fiction up here on this shelf up here, which you can't really see. And I have the Cassandra Clare Shadowhunter books behind me here. The majority of the books underneath, like on this bookshelf, are romance. And I have a Kindle as well, which the majority of this, like, all bar a couple of books, are actually romance books. So that's why I've decided to create this channel so I could talk to people who have similar interests that I do. Today I will be talking to you guys about my September TBR and yeah let's get straight into it. The first book, I've already finished one or two books this month already which I'm not going to mention here because if you, I might end up doing like a wrap up of all the books I've read to the start of my booktube channel. I think I might do that, which is a lot of books. But the first book that I am going to put on my September TBR is The Black Flamingo. And as you can see, I've already started it. I started this uh, yesterday. It was I was at my mum's and I just decided that I would read while I waited for her to do stuff. So yeah. I do also want to read these two books. This is Beach Read by Emily Henry and this is Josh and Hazel's Guide to Not Dating by Christina Lauren. I have heard amazing things about both these books and I really want to read this book. I actually even have the audiobook on Audible already waiting for me to do. And then I also want to read this book. I've read The Unhoneymooners and I absolutely loved that. I think I read that at the beginning of this year or the end of last year, I can't really remember. But I really want to read this. And it's not too big so it shouldn't take me too long. Now I might plan on rereading some of my Mafia books that I read in August. I um, devoured the whole uh, Cor uh, Cora Riley Mafia series, both of them. Um, and actually, the new one sh that she's got comes out on the 15th of September, and I will be reading that. I will put up the book cover here. I think it's called By Sin or something. I don't know, but it's about uh, the it's about the daughter of two of the main characters from the Born and Blood series, and I loved that couple. Yeah, so I might end up rereading the occasional Bored and Blood book or the Twisted Cro uh, Kimura Chronicles, that's what they're called. I just, I just call them the Twisted Books. That's their titles. Now I should have written a list of all the books I want to read, but I didn't, so yeah. Um, now the first book on my Kindle that I want to read is actually I want I want to read all of these books. Oh, you can see my ring light. But so I want to read Birthday Girl by Penelope Douglas. I'll just keep putting the photos here. That is a oh my memory is terrible. It's like a boyfriend's father um book I think. I also want to read Credence by Penelope Douglas. I want to read both those two books because I've heard amazing things and if I like both of them then I'll end up buying the Kindle version of Punk 57 or 47. I also want to read Our Way by T.L. Swan. I recently read uh, The Casanova which came out start of September or end of uh, August. I can't really remember when it, that came out but I read it like a couple of days after it came out and it wasn't my favorite in that series but I do love T.L. Swan's writing so I want to read that book. I also want to read A Lesson in Thorns 
by Sierra Simone. I've had this on my like TBR for about a year now, so that needs to get read. Um, I want to read Focused by, I think it's Karina Zola, I don't know. I don't know. I'll put the cover up here for you. I suck at um, pronouncing things, so leave me be. I want to read a Karina Halley book, the and I have the um, A Nordic King on my list. I also have The Deal by Ellie Elk Kennedy. I want to try that book. I'm not sure really if I want to read it or not, but I have it, so I'll eventually get to reading it. I don't really know how many books that is. Um, in the last couple, like last month I read 30 books, the month before that I read like 18. Um, so I do read quite a few books in a month. What's another one? The Boya series by Fiona Cole. That's a good, that's one I, that's, I have the first book on my Kindle and I would like to read that, but I know when I read series, I devour the entire series. That's what I did with the um, Cor Coralie books. I devoured both those series. I also would like to read The Brutal Prince by Sophia, uh, Sof oh, Sophie Lark. That I really want to read. Yeah, I think that's all the books I really, really want to read this month. They're all the books I have on my Kindle at the moment, plus these three. I do also have a couple more books up on this shelf, but these three, but these three are the main ones that I really want to read this month. But I do have like the Shadowhunters Codex, because I love the Shadowhunter books. And if I get to do that, then I also want to read these two books here, which remove uh what was that? Piglet. That was Piglet. I have both of these books, which is Chain of Gold and Chain of Iron. I've had Chain of... Uh, this is like the collector's first editions for both of these. I've had both of these books since they came out. I have not read either of them since they came out. But I'm that person that devours a series. So, like, I devoured this... The, um... What do you call this? The Mortal Instrument series. I devoured that quite quickly. Same with the Infernal Devices and the... What are this one called? Dark Artifices. I read that too. And then I also have those books there. But um, yeah, and then I also still have these two here. But that third book should be coming out this year, I think. Yeah, I don't know when I'll get to read these ones. But we'll see. I might even wait until March or April next year to read all three of them. Or read these two in March and then when the third one comes out, which I'm hoping is in March or April next year, I'll read that. But yeah, I am a really, I'm a talker, so this has been an interesting TBR. I hope it wasn't too long. I didn't really tell you a lot about each of the books, just because I don't know too much. I choose not to know too much about my books, like I I know like roughly what they are, like you have the age gap romance, the, you have in Credence there's the, I think Credence is the one with the three like step family that she has to go visit, I think that's that one. I actually don't really know, what, I can't remember what many of these are about, I knew that I loved them when I heard them and I was like, yep, yeah, cool, I'll read, I'll get it, I'll get it, I'll read it. So yeah, that's it for this September TBR. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel because I will be uploading more bookish content because I love my reading now. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.